basically born here, and you're regressing with this a little bit. Now, guys, I want to hear you, all of you guys say, I am a gifted person. See, it's gone a lot quieter. I am a gifted person. It's true. I love that the first thing was one of the guys piped up, I am a very gifted person. You know, a little bit of the old extrovert coming out, it's wonderful. But you know, why is it sometimes we struggle with this? Why is it we wrestle with the thing, the I am a very gifted person? And you know, it's because sometimes we've been told that, no, don't get too, too full of yourself. Don't get, don't get, don't get. And we get pull, keep getting pulled down. Stuff happens in our lives, stuff to, to disappoint. Sometimes the times we have had a go in this gift in this area. And I want to address that this morning. I want to just push some of your buttons a little harder because the Bible says something very, very different. It says, for God's gifts and his call are irrevocable. And the Amplified says this, he never withdraws, from, um, he never withdraws them when, he, when once they are given. And he does not change his mind about those to whom he gives his grace or to whom he sends his call. God never changes his mind. I had a friend, he was very, very backslidden. And he invited me once to a party and he was... He, very much been a, a full-on Christian, but stuff had happened in his life, disappointments, just stuff had happened. And he really stepped back into his old ways. And he invited me once to a party. And I, in those days, I, I knew the tricks of going to parties in a, in a godly way that I, you go for a time, people get very open as they begin to drink. They get very open to a certain point, And then you know you've got to leave because at that point, things get a little out of hand. A couple of situations I was involved in, it was in South Auckland, and it was just a very challenging situation. There was a number of brawls after I left. I sort of, Lord, show me the time to leave in some of these situations. And I sat with the guy that night, and as he began to drink a little, he'd open up, and he was very honest. He said, you know, Rob, it's amazing, but God's never taken away from me the gift of tongues. And then right there and then, he began to speak in tongues. Right there in the middle of this party, he began to speak in tongues, and he, God never has taken away this gift. I remember the time being absolutely sort of blown away by the thought that it's so true. The gifts and call of God are irrevocable. He does not change his mind. He will give us, and then it's up to us what we do with it. Incredible, but he never changes his mind. Incredible. And church, for each one of us, we've got to remind ourselves of that. The things God has spoken over our lives, the things, the way he wants to lead us, the things he has placed in you to develop, they're yours. I want to give you three words this morning. The first one's engage. We've got to engage our own giftedness. We're going to come to a place of realizing, I am a gifted person, but I need to engage it. It is not his gift. It is not the Holy Spirit's gift. It is not a sense of God's gift that somehow will do its thing. It is your gift. Who speaks in tongues, the Holy Spirit or you? Who prophesies, the Holy Spirit or you? Church, you do. I want to encourage you, I want to realize we've got to engage this thing, the giftedness that God gives us, the natural giftedness, the being good at things. Who, who does those things? Is it the Holy Spirit? Is it God who gives them? No, it's you. You've been given them for a reason. I want to get to, to uh, two volunteers this morning. Caleb, I reckon uh, you'd be a good volunteer. I'd love Caleb to come up. And I think uh, Jane. Jane, I'd love you to come. I've got two seats here, two chairs here. I've got these two uh, very good-looking volunteers. They're looking rather concerned at the moment. There's nothing, absolutely nothing to be concerned about. We did this in the first service, and the people were still, they still walked out with a smile on their face. But grab a seat. I want to give you a gift. And I want, as you, as I give you this gift, I want you to open it. And then I want you just to describe what's going through your mind as you, and this is just randomly given. I want you to open it. I want you to show everyone what's in it. And then I want you just to think about and dialogue a little bit what's going on through your mind. Yeah. What have you got? Okay. Now, one of you got a note. What does the note say? It says, thanks for being bold enough to come out front today. This is Rob. What does your one say, Caleb? And a note. Okay. So one, and what, what's the $50 bill? It's real? Just make sure actually it's real. What's going through your mind right now in the sense of, I've just given you a gift. One of you, I've given you a gift, a reason why. The other one, I've given no reason at all. What's in your mind? It's all cool. <laughs> it's quite a positive thing to receive a gift, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. 
<laughs> Do we have any more volunteers? I had some people from the first service say they wanted to come to the second service. You know, you know, what I want to just throw at you is a little idea. What, what are you going to do with that? I want to know as the giver. <laughs> to give it back. <laughs> yeah. Was there a trick? Was there a trap? I to, church, I want to say to you, this stuff goes through our heads when it comes to God giving gifts to us. It can't last. This thing, of it, this, this thing, can I depend on what God has given me? If I get good at something, will it last? Will there be disappointments? Will it all turn to custard at some point? This cannot last. And that's some of the thoughts we have in our own giftedness. God does not change his mind. He is totally dependable. Caleb, for you, and they said, what, what are your thoughts? And they said, if I said to you, what are you